Hi, this is Lauren Hines from CraftsOfJoy.com. I am so excited to share with you today my organization system for your printed photographs. This is finally the system that I have found that saves so much time when I'm looking for a photograph and so much time when I'm ready to scrapbook my albums. And it really all focuses on these nice little folders. I call them photo folders. It's just a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. This is cardstock and I like to use acid-free and lignin-free cardstock. And it's a few quick folds and a little notch cut out. And if you like this idea, I have a free download file that you can find on the link below where you can download and print these yourself. Or if you'd like me to send some to you, you can go to my website and order a pack of 25, 50, or 100 of them, however many you need, and have them sent directly to your door. So um, these are all ready to go, ready for your photos to go in. Okay, so how does the system work? Let's talk a little bit about what you'll need and how to get started. Okay, not only are you gonna need your stack of folders, but you're going to need a few supplies. Get your favorite office supplies, including a pencil, a pen, and post-it pad, paper clips, whatever you need. And then you're gonna need a photo labeling pencil this one is from Creative Memories. I like this, um, but any soft Stabilo pencil will help you um, label your photographs. So this is what you need to do when you're writing on the back of your photographs because it doesn't damage your photographs and it doesn't um, cause an indent to the front of your pictures. This is really helpful when you've got a series of a bunch of pictures and or you went a lot of different places and you just need to make a quick note on the back. Okay, you also need to gather your photographs. All right, so you need the pile of printed photos. Get them off the cloud, off your computer, off your phone, and get those photographs printed because nothing is better than getting these in your hand so that you can tell your story and share your experience. You'll also need any kind of an enlargement or enlargements that you have, any kind of memorabilia and ticket stubs, um, anything that you will be working with to organize this set of photos. As well as your folders, your supplies and your photos, you're gonna need a place to put all these wonderful photos once they're organized. This is a photo storage box. This one is from Creative Memories. It is archival, it's nice and sturdy. It has a lid that snaps on with bands to the top. And then it also comes with a set of folders for more organization if you need it. I like this one. It is also available um, on a link below if you'd like to order it from Creative Memories. You can also go to your local craft store and just get a photo storage box. And then a third option is a plastic bin. This one is called a Super Satchel. It's by Art Bin and it is the perfect height for storing these folders. Okay, now you can also put a tag on the front and label it and then it also has a nice little handle have a link below to that one as well. All right, so how do we use this system? Let's get started. So you're gonna have your stack of empty folders and then what you wanna do is look at each folder as a two-page spread. So you're going to take a look at the right-hand side and the left-hand side and you're gonna say, okay, what pictures are gonna go together? And I'm gonna put four to six to eight photos on each side. Sometimes you'll have more because you want to have a few to choose from, but you're going to look at this whole little folder as a two-page spread. So once you've done that, you've sorted your photos, these photos I want to go together, and then you're going to fold it up and you're going to make a note on where it is, any kind of date that you have. And then if there's another note that you need, like if there's an enlargement or if you have some ticket stubs that you want to put in there. You can put it inside the folder with your pictures or you can make a note saying don't forget to certificate or these memorabilia. Okay. So once you have that you start putting together your pages. You've done it one time. 
you've touched your photos one time. If you ever need to look for a photo, you've got detailed information about what is in this folder. Okay, you don't have to flip through a hundred photos just to find one that you're looking for. And then you start putting all these pages together and you realize that you can start looking and seeing how big your album is going to be because each one of these is a two-page spread. So that gives you a really good indication of how big your album is going to be and what kind of supplies you're going to need to create your album. Okay, another note for these folders is that sometimes we don't work in chronological order, sometimes we work theme. And so this is an example of that where we took pictures on different days, but they're all of one theme. They were all about the ship, which is different things that we did while we were on our cruise on board the ship. And so sometimes you'll want to put all those fit photos together and then put them into one two-page spread. And they're all similar pictures, but maybe on different days. Okay. Then you can decide where this is going to go in any page in any order. That's another nice thing about this system is that um, you can go ahead and decide the order of your album before you actually start working. And if you want to jump ahead and go, I just really want to scrapbook these albums because I have the cutest paper to go with it, um, these pages, then you can do that because you know exactly how many pages in you have to go into your album. So that's it. That's my um, photo organization system for scrapbookers. I hope you enjoyed this. I just want to give you a sneak peek of my travel journal. I will be doing another video that showcases um, a, this travel journal and how I put it together and some tips for you on how to do one for yourself. But this was really helpful when I'm coming back and looking at all these photographs and trying to figure out what we did and where we went. This is an album that I kept while we were on our trip and it was just a fun little freeform album that gives some notes about what we were doing while we were on our trip. It was really fun to put together. And then in the back, I have a reference here to our itinerary, which is really nice. So sometimes you have a, a camera that can geotag your location, but I found that on a few occasions my DSLR did not geotag my location, and so this was really nice to be able to come and look at this, have a reference as to where it was on our trip. Stay tuned, there'll be another video coming on this travel journal, which is really fun. I encourage you guys to try one of your own. If you have any questions, please let me know. Leave any comments you have. I'd be happy to hear if you try this system and like it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you take some time out to craft some joy. Bye.